Welcome to Carolina Week Sports. I'm Deshaun Brown. Just think of me as the female Brandon Curry, a more attractive female Brandon Curry. The women's basketball team went head-to-head -head with the NC State Wolfpack Sunday afternoon. The pack showed up hungry for a win, leading the heels in the first half. But soon, the state players found they were going to be in for a fight to get around the Tar Heel defense. The Heels pulled it together as halftime approached and took the lead. Rashonda McCants got the Heels off to a strong second half with this three-pointer. They took that momentum and dominated during the second half. The ladies couldn't help but be in good spirits after a 21-point victory. Head coach Sylvia Hatchell has known all along her Heels are a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, I love it when other teams come in here and practice two hours. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because they just, they, just, they, just, they just getting a little tired for us. Ivory Ladd is showing no signs of fatigue. This three-pointer marked her 2,000th point at Carolina, a number only five other Tar Heel women have reached. Speaking of numbers, Saturday, UNC looked to earn win number 1,900. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets stood in their way. Rayshon Terry had a great night here going underneath to score. He had a season-high 16 points and helped stretch Tex D with three-pointers like this. Speaking of defense, the Heels held the Yellow Jackets to a season-low 61 points with defensive stops like this. Watch out, Ty Lawson, those fouls can hurt. But it was Tyler Hansbro who was fouled constantly and made 14 of 15 free throws, 24 points on the night. After the game, Coach Williams talked about this guy, Marcus Ginyard, an unsung hero and leader of the team. Marcus is the kind of youngster that uh, everybody in here could say, would you watch my grandchildren for the next four hours and you'd be as comfortable as you could possibly be. And uh, uh, when I grow up, I'd like to be like Marcus. Weekend action continues with the JV basketball team trying to keep an undefeated record taking on Asbury College. Heels working the perimeter. Charles McDonald looks for room, gives it to J.B. Tanner, and he sends it up for the easy three. Here's Jack Wooden looking to take it in for two, but why do that when you can get another three-pointer? Tanner looks for the layup, dumps it off to James Gallagher. Ugly shot, but it gets the two. The Heels go on to win 90-63. to It doesn't matter which sport Carolina is playing. A game against Duke or State is enough to make any Tar Heel fans' blood boil. Friday's wrestling match against State was no different. For the first six matches, Carolina and State seesawed back and forth with wins. Some impressive slams from both sides, but the biggest win came from State's heavyweight Palma, who upset eighth in the nation, Spencer Nadalski. Look at the big guy go. It all came down to UNC junior Drew Forche, who beat NC State's Taylor Cummings in the final bouts of the night. And looks like he heard him there too. UNC moved on with a one and one conference record and prepared for Navy. Looking to improve to 500 for the season, 22nd ranked Navy jumped out to a quick lead with a victory in the 157 pound weight class. Carolina rallied after Dennis Drury defeated Navy's Tyler Moyer. However, both of Carolina's top 10 ranked wrestlers, heavyweight Spencer Nadalski and 133 pound Evan Sola struggled. This pin gave Navy the lead for good. Carolina falls 25 to nine and is now four and six. Navy might have sunk the heels on the wrestling mat, but the swim and dive team traveled to Virginia, hoping to blow the Cavaliers out of the water. The women's team crushed UVA, winning 11 of the 16 events on Saturday, taking the 182 to 118 victory. The men weren't quite as successful, narrowly falling 161 to 137, despite capturing seven, seven of the 16 events. The women's gymnastics team was also out of town during the weekend, competing in our nation's capital. UNC squeaked by the GW Colonials by a little more than half a point. The Heels had no trouble breezing by Cornell and William & Mary. Their record is now 4-0 for the season. Deshaun, thanks very well, much. Yeah. As you guys can see, a packed weekend in sports. And this week, a bit of a break. The JV will hit the court tomorrow in the Smith Center. And then back to action for the weekend. Great. Okay. Deshaun Brown, thanks. Well, the weather might be brutal now, but spring break will be here before we know it. Coming up, do you feel like you have to look buff like Arnold to be ready for the fun and sun? More when we come back.